Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Spring Boot with Bingyang. Here is the outline of my tutorial. First, I will talk about what Spring Boot is, why we need it, and how to quickly create and start a Hello World Spring Boot project. Next, I will adopt a project-based learning approach to teach different aspects of Spring Boot. That is, together, we will work on the backend RESTful APIs of an interesting web application called Hogwarts Artifacts Online. As you probably know, I'm a big fan of Harry Potter. We will build this application from scratch while I explain concepts in Spring Boot. You are welcome to code along with me. Here is what you will learn while we are building the REST APIs. Dependency injection and the Spring Framework's core container, which controls how objects are wired up. You will learn how to build the web layer of an application using Spring MVC. MVC stands for Model View Controller. You will see how easy it is to handle incoming HTTP requests and respond results to client side using Spring MVC. You will see how data are persisted to a relational database using Spring Data JPA. JPA stands for Jakarta Persistence API. You will use Spring Security to authenticate users and prevent unauthorized access to an application. In particular, I will focus on JWT authentication and authorization. JWT stands for JSON Web Token. You will also learn some Spring Boot production-ready features to help you monitor and manage your application when you push it to production. And more. Here is another goal of this tutorial. Besides teaching the cool features of Spring Boot, in this Hogwarts Artifacts Online project, I want to demonstrate some good software engineering practices so that they will help your future career. For example, we will use Git and GitHub for version control and project management. We will learn the API-first approach and how to effectively design RESTful APIs. I will also adopt the test-driven development approach, or TDD. That is, for each new feature, I will start with writing a fitting test case, then write just enough code to make the test pass, and then refactor the code to make it more maintainable. In the end, I will show you how to use GitHub Actions for continuous integration and continuous delivery, or CI CD. In particular, we will deploy this Spring Boot application to Microsoft Azure, which is a popular cloud platform. I will periodically add more topics to this series of Spring Boot tutorials. Please take a look at the description of this video below to see what new content is added. And don't forget to subscribe my channel. So, a lot of good content. I am very excited to share this with you. Let's get started.